Okay, I am going to do one more NASCAR theme vlog, but with the breaking news, I did the NASCAR Injustice Volume 3. This is going to be NASCAR Injustice Volume 3 Part 2, again involving Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin has come out and said, I refuse to pay the fine. Now, he has the option to file an appeal in writing, much the same as last year after the Daytona 500 race. Daytona week where the Rick Hendrick Lowe's car was found with alleged illegal rear window pillars and they took it all the way to the chief appellate officer and they got the points back and the peop the crew members, Canals and the car chief weren't suspended as was the original penalty. But the fine stood uh, Rick Hendrick, Mr. H was a little upset about that and I understand this point. But Denny Hamlin says he's not going to pay. But he better be careful there. And I'll tell you why. First appeal goes to the National Stock Car Racing Commission. Who can, who can uphold the penalty? Abolish a penalty? Or here's where he better be careful. They can increase a penalty. They can decide to take points. As I understand it, if they abolish a penalty, NASCAR could then appeal to the chief appellate officer and say, hey, we think the penalty is just. Who can either A, uphold, abolish, or raise a penalty? What if they take points? Maybe he'd be better off to pay the fine. I don't know what kind of deals the driver signed with NASCAR. I've gotten about six comments on that one vlog in an hour. And I've, I've never had that many comments on a vlog, any vlog total before because of that. And I got one, I, I don't have them in front of me, so I lost all respect for NASCAR, 2 7 of 13. And frankly, I, I got to kind of agree because it's just, it's stupid. I mean, why is NASCAR above the law? That's my question. I always thought in the United States, one of the guarantees is free speech. But I guess it ends when you go in the NASCAR garage area. You want to go watch the first NASCAR Injustice? I talk about some other stuff. Some, uh, some other stuff that I thought was illegal in the United States. But NASCAR in my opinion, gets away with it. That's just been kind of my little take. It's my last one for tonight.